Hey everyone, Gil here at Camp Pet and Family Compound in Idaho. I'm out here in the shop. That means we got another emergency preparedness hack for you. Something really simple and easy that you can make without needing a bunch of tools or anything. Alrighty, stick around and check this out. Okay, so here's what we're going to be doing. We're going to make another candle that's simple and easy. And we're actually going to show you several ways of making this type of candle. All right. So let's uh, tip the camera down here a little bit and take a look at what I got on the table here. Crisco. Yes, Crisco. We're going to make candles out of this. Don't laugh. We're going to make candles out of it. So, I'm going to take a can. This is a wide, short can. Basically, this can is uh, what the uh, Costco beef and uh, chicken come in when you buy a pack of them. So, this is what this comes in. So, it's a nice wide one there. And remember all the wax... Uh, coated uh, wicks I've been saving from when I was melting the candles down. This is where we're going to use them at. So, cut this one the length here. First thing I'm going to do is cut them all the, the proper length so they'll work in here. Get several of them in here. So I got four little wicks that are just a hair shy of being as tall as the can is. So now comes the uh, hard part. Putting the Crisco in the can. Now when I'm putting it in, I want to make sure I get the corners filled in. So I push it down and push it into the corner to make sure the corners fill up. Because you don't want to have gaps in there that when it starts to get warm it all you know, sinks and does weird stuff. So. Because this is kind of cold, I'm not going to be able to stick these right in, I don't think. We'll see if it will work. Oh, wait, it may be working if I turn it. If I turn it as I, and roll, roll it as I stick it down in. There we go. That's one in. There we go. There's two in there. Sometimes I get lucky. I thought I was going to have to poke a hole with a, mat, with a wooden match or something to get these down in there first. But it looks. There we go. Alright, so I got four wicks in there. So, candle. And there you go. When kind of hard to see, it's so bright already. But the uh, the shortening is melting around it, and the wick is working just fine to burn it up. And so there we go. One uh, shortening candle.
Now, was that quick and easy? I think it was. Now, suppose you want something a little bit bigger than uh, this little candle right here. Well, you see the big container here? See this big white candle? You get the picture, you cut it off just below it, expose some stuff, and you just stick it in, stick a couple of those in there. Turns that into a very, very, very long burning candle. So, some people go, oh, but why, why would we want to waste the shortening? Well, if you've been following anything in the news and you believe anything, vegetable shortening is not exactly the best stuff for you. This way, it can be something good for you. You can use it to provide light for your home. So, uh, it look, this here is looking pretty good. Let's see it tip this forward here. And take a look at this candle here a little bit better again here. I'm not sure if it's going to show good. But yeah, you got the uh, my finger to contract against the... Got little pools forming around the uh, wicks now as it slowly melts the shortening down in and burns it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this candle here going for about an hour or so and we'll come back and we'll check it out then. All right. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do the uh, candles in here. So mark it here. And, uh, there. I added a fifth uh, wick to that one. So as I was watching it after a while, looked like it definitely needed it. Okay, so like I did when I was cutting the candles to go into inside of this, the uh, five candle uh, can, emergency candle. I did the same thing, I trimmed down around, exposed the wick. So, I got that, but I do need to remove the wrapper. For the other half of it, I just cut the, uh, the base off and I left the wick on top. So I stick the wick down, straight down in here. As you see, I start peeling around it and start getting more of the material off here. By cutting in, I don't want to cut into the wick all the way. Once I got get in here a little bit more, then I'm going to cut. Then I'm going to cut down along it to shave it. And I'll stick this one down in. go all right so I got let's bring this over here actually I'll just bring this to you Let me turn the overhead lights back on here so you can get a light down in there so you see the candles in there so we're gonna light those up and see what they do Got these four candles going. Not sure how well it's going to show up. Because I see a lot of glare on the screen here. That's why I keep wondering about it. We're going to let that burn down in. The wax burn down in here until it gets down to the, uh, the shortening. The heat should start getting the shortening to run. Let me bring this over here for this. You can see 
hopefully you can see the puddles around here formed by the, uh, the heat of the candle there of the shortening candle smelting the shortening and giving everything an even uh, pool there so that's doing pretty good gonna give it another uh, 15 minutes here give this another 15 minutes um, come back and look at it here uh, what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and put this on a time lapse here and we will uh, see what happens here and during that time lapse so let me move this up a little bit closer Okay, so ran into some problems here, which I was halfway expecting. On the crystal candle here, you saw a couple of the uh, the wicks on that taper candle kind of bend over and they put themselves out. Yeah, it's all you got to be careful about what type of candles you use. Also, part of the problem was also it's it's starting to melt around. Let me show it here again. Around the back side here, it's what melting into the stuff that's still on the sides. So, yeah, it's as it melts the stuff on the side, the elevation of the uh, liquid uh, vegetable shortening comes up, and so for the first little bit here, it's going to take a while for that to work. It probably would have worked better in a totally full can that way you push it in there's nothing up on the sides to melt and, and flood the, the wicks so like over here on this one here though that I did it's working just fine the entire top is just about liquid and all five wicks there are doing just fine all right so with that I'm gonna blow those out not much smoke coming off of it when I blew those out. And it's just, yeah, because it's a, it's mostly the uh, vegetable shortening, which works pretty good. So I'll just go ahead and put the top back on that, and that can set up and be just fine. The other one here seems to be doing okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and just slide this across. There we go. And that one there is extinguished. So, um, this little can here, uh, like I said, was one of the Costco meat cans. You could use like a regular, that the regular, regular sized cans of peaches, uh, pears and stuff, you know. Um, and it would work just fine. In fact, probably it, it's probably wide, still wide enough to the height to be stable. And that'd be something you use for for a, a long time power outage. Um, my daughter, when I was inside the house here, while this was on the uh, time lapse, said they were cooking some bacon, and they go, "Well, oh, vegetable oil. Well, can you can you make a candle out of bacon grease?" So she's saving the bacon grease, and when we get enough bacon grease, we're going to try to make a candle out of bacon grease. So that's coming somewhere down the line probably after the first of the year so all right so um a couple things here before i go away one don't forget to uh down in the in the uh, comment section there's going not comment section in the uh, about section the description section there there's going to be a link to a um our 1000 subscriber uh giveaway contest video and i'm going to follow up here when i get done talking here with a little quick about it a little, a little short blurb uh, video for it and also anything doing with preparedness that you learn that is cool and neat whether you learn it from me or somebody else share it with your friends your extended family your co-workers acquaintances anyone you know around share that information because you want them to be prepared for emergencies too that way they're not coming to your house and taking your supplies from your family all right and if you like this video please 
pound that thumbs up button down below. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you want to see more of these uh, fun videos, down below the little red button that says subscribe, you click on that and a little bell pop up next to it. Click on that bell and whenever I post one of these videos, you'll get notified. You don't have to watch the video, but you'll get notified. All right, and as always, stay happy, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video.